But another thing is, we just got an Amazon Fulfillment Center over by Euclid. Pretty banging. This is, this is like, uh, you have an upstairs, a main floor, and your own separate basement, right? They're like laid out like townhouses. Again, it's not like up, down, apartments stacked on top of each other. It's the side by side. It's got like a, a single family feel, right? So this thing is uh, going to be quite a banger. Unit G6, man, like the song. She's driving a G6. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Condos, baby. Condos, man. Condos, a little different. A little different than uh, houses, right? Some good, some bad. Uh, what I have here, though, this is really going to work out quite well. 522 Clearview Drive, right? Unit G6, man, like the song. She's driving a G6. Anyway, here's the deal. This one, uh, I like this one quite a bit. The numbers on this one are, are pretty sweet. The layout is sweet, right? Some some condo buildings that you'll get, right? They're, they're really like apartment buildings, and then they just really kind of like transfer deeds over and like converted them into condos, but they don't like really feel like condos. They're not like feeling like you know their own individual units whereas this one is uh unlike that one right this is a very nice complex right a bunch of low-rise uh apartments condos townhouses like they're really laid out like townhouses honestly uh over in euclid right and first of all i like euclid quite a bit even before we get into the differences between housing uh like actual houses and condos let's talk about euclid real quick i think euclid's very nice uh, I think it's great for investors. I've graded Euclid uh, on the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods as a B neighborhood. I think Euclid's banging. Uh, some things I like about Euclid, number one, it doesn't have the uh, lead certification program that Cleveland has, uh, which kind of is an annoyance to investors. I don't exactly agree with how they've rolled out that lead certification program. And if you are going to invest in the Cleveland market, you do need to understand about that because most investors, most landlords, and most realtors in Cleveland, unfortunately, don't know about that stuff. So I recommend after this show, uh, you click the notes around this video to read the lead paint certification program that affects properties in the city of Cleveland only. This is its own city, folks. This is a suburb of Cleveland. It is Euclid. Euclid's its own city. So it does not have that lead certification issue, right? So that's one thing I like about Euclid. Another thing is we just got an Amazon Fulfillment Center over by Euclid. Pretty banging because that's a whole bunch of jobs. And that's a whole bunch of jobs where the wages are appropriate uh, for people who could be renting apartments much like this one from landlords like us, right? So it works out pretty good. And then it's also right up there near the lake. All that is pretty cool. Nice area. Uh, pretty low on crime. Uh, you don't really have to deal with a lot of riffraff. So I do like Euclid quite a bit. So I think you're getting a safe, stable investment, right? And I'm not just the guy that's going to get up here and say, oh, this is great. This is sunshine and rainbows. Woo! I don't do that, y'all. You should know by now if you watch enough Holton Wise TV, I shoot it to you straight, right? So if I tell you I think there's not a lot of riffraff in a neighborhood, you can believe me because I'm not up here like pretending like a lot of the properties that we feature on Holton Wise TV are not in neighborhoods where you're going to deal with a lot of riffraff. If you you do not believe me just punch in tenants from hell and uh allow the thousands of hours of content that holton wise tv's produced for you uh to show you that we ain't gonna hide nothing from you okay so neighborhood check i dig it uh going to the building itself and the layout right what this is this is like uh you have an upstairs a main floor and your own separate basement right they're like laid out like townhouses, which are quite sweet. And you have an HOA here of $150 a month, okay? The current rent is $845, which is actually pretty low. Long-term tenant. Uh, tenant's been there for quite a while. The rent, market rent on this is really $975 minimum. You might even be able to get over $1,000, to be honest with you. But at least $975. We should want to immediately get this up to $975, right? Send them a 30-day notice, get that up to $975. And that's honestly like a starting point, right? $975, and you have the $150 HOA fee, right? And I know uh, when we talk about condos, sometimes people do not want to invest in condos because of the HOA fees, right? And that's a good reason, honestly, if they're not helping you, they're not good for you. Here, uh, the HOA is actually pretty sweet for us, right? Because what the HOA covers here is all of the exterior maintenance, number one, uh, number two, uh, the bylaws said that it covers 
the water sewer, right? So if you have a tenant, you'd have to pay their water sewer anyway. You'd probably be looking at like 75 bucks a month. Here you pay 150 flat. You don't have to worry about your water sewer. And on top of that, you don't have to worry about exterior maintenance. You don't have to pay to cut the grass. You don't have to maintain the exterior of the building. You don't have to redo the roof, right? Uh, so that that that's a freaking, that's awesome, right? So all you got is your 975 in rent and then your HOA fee. And then you just got to maintain the inside of the freaking unit, right? So uh, hot water tank furnace, right? But guess what? Both of those are pretty much brand new. Uh, and then this particular tenant has been there quite a while. Uh, you just need to raise their rent and you're good to go. You're making a ton of cash flow. If they do move out, all we got to do is a nice little interior turn, right? New paint, new carpet, bada bing, bada boom, we're good to go, right? You don't even need to worry uh, about like a bunch of sound uh, going back and forth between the other units, either from like the neighboring condo owners, because again, it's not like up, down, apartments stacked on top of each other. It's the side by side. It's got like a, a single family feel, right? So this thing is uh, going to be quite a banger. It does have the Euclid point of sale violations, right, in Euclid. They don't have the lead like Cleveland, but they do have the point of sale stuff. But as I review this, it's all ticky tech outside stuff, which technically you will have to assume that you are aware that these violations exist. But uh, all of the items that you need to handle on this, the majority of them, I should say, uh, is going to be needed to be handled through the HOA. Like, the HOA needs to do that, right? So, like, for this, we have, um, like, the top violation, they're talking about the exterior yard areas must be free of, like, garbage and debris and stuff. So, like, on the very rear porch just of this unit, we got to make the tenant clean up some garbage and debris there. But if there's other, like, garbage and debris and stuff spewing through the yard, uh, like, the actual grassy area you see, like, amongst all these... Uh, these units, that's not necessarily going to be on you, right? That's something the HOA will handle, right? Uh, looks like we'll have to do a couple things with the actual uh, door and screen uh, of this particular unit, but then some of the other items, uh, we would just push that right back to the HOA and they'll handle it, right? So to actually clear this, what you're responsible for as the owner of this condo unit, we're looking at a very small amount of money, like hundreds I would be shocked if we went over $1,000 on this. So it's it's really tic-tac, uh, basically nothing. So what you're getting here, really, folks, is just a true turnkey investment uh, with one of the most, like, passive ways to do it, right? Because the HOA does a lot of the heavy lifting, and then Holton Wise as your PM handle the rest, man. And you get in for 40 Gs, so all you need is 10 k out of your pocket. This thing is a banger. Uh, you want to make an offer, you could do a cash offer. You could do a financed offer. If you don't have a lender, let us know. Send us an email. We'll get you a list of lenders. Then after you get that, just send your offers to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. Just send us an email like, hey, we want to buy the condo. We want to offer 40. We want to pay cash. Here's a proof of funds. Or, you know, we want to pay 40. We want to get a loan. Here's our pre-approval letter. And we will get back to you after that. And we will wrap this sucker up for you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.